You know, last night, Demetrius Andrade, you know, showed up to the uh, Garcia Broner card. And, uh, you know, he always move his mouth more than he move his hands. You know, this your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. You know, and basically him and Charlo, you know, Jamal Charlo, who fought last night, got into it. Um, I'm going to leave the interview. I'm going to leave the, uh, the little spat in the, uh, in the uh, description where they, uh, the video with Ellie Setback recording them arguing. And um, at the end of the day, Demetrius Andrade is one of the biggest jokes in the sport of boxing. You know, everybody would tell you, oh, he got all this talent. Oh, he'll beat this guy. he beat that guy. He can't beat nobody. He's beating himself right now. You know, and at the end of the day, you know, he, you know, how, how it happened was, you know, he waited outside of Jamal Charlo's locker room. Now, if you remember after Jamal Charlo beat J-Rock, he was waiting at the press conference talking shit, you know, and talking about, you fight me, you fight me, you fight me. You know, at the end of the day, you know, he knew Jamal Charlo was moving on to 160 after the J-Rock fight. It was, it was well known that Ronnie Shell said he couldn't make the weight no more. And if he could, if he would make the weight to make the Andrade fight, why would he? Because this guy then pulled out of the fight with his brother. You know, Al Hammond paid him a career high five hundred K to fight. To fight Jamel Charlo, the one that's a one fifty four WBC champion. He pulled out of that fight. So you think motherfuckers gonna take you serious? You know, train all hard and you pulling out of fights, you know, career high payday fights, when you ain't even made five hundred K in your career yet? So at the end of the day, you know, why do you think people why do you think people really, you know, really give a damn about seeing you fight? You know, you got your little East Coast people who think you're the best, and he not the best. You know, you can't you can't be the best if you're not fighting. The best fighter on his resume is is Vinas Montarosian. And that's it. You want to say Willie Nelson? Other than that, you know, he ain't did shit. He been pro damn near 10 years, and his best his best win on his record is Vinas Montarosian. So basically, him and Jamal Charlo get into a spat. I'm going to leave the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the altercation in the, in the, to the... Uh, in the description, he says, he says to uh, basically Charlo, man, I want to fight, man, I want to fight. Sound like a fucking bum bre- be- uh, begging for some bread. I want to fight. Jamal Charlo say, man, shut the fuck up, man. He said, why you always running your mouth? I want to fight. I want to fight you. I want to fight you. I want to fight you. He said, Charlo said, I'm a savage. I ain't got time for your bitch ass, basically. You know, nobody got time for him pulling out of fights and shit, dog. He not even fighting the best at 154. So how you going to go up to 160? And he already pulled out of a 160 fight before. He was offered the Matt Corbin fight when Peter Quillen dropped his WBO belt to fight for the vacant WBO belt versus Matt Corbin. He said it wasn't enough money. So then with the Lars situation, Lars said this year they're supposed to fight because he's his mandatory. He's a WBA interim junior middleweight championship. Lars, the, well, he's the regular WBA champion. Lars, the super. Lars said he priced himself out then. So how, how, how is this guy, you know, trying to price himself out and then lying about it? And I know because he's, he's priced himself out several times. You know, he pricing himself out like he's something that he's not. This dude fought on ESPN Friday Night Fights for like 30 fucking of his fights, 20 of his fights. And you think a motherfucker's about to bow down to you because what you did in the amateurs? Nigga, that, niggas is moving on with their careers. You know, nobody worried about Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade. Like, dog, he's past, he's past news. And then he really want to get fights. You know, he the Andre Ward. He the new Andre Ward. He read up with Star and Banner Boxing for what? What pool do they have in the sport of boxing? You should have signed with Al and you would get the fights. But at the end of the day, he don't want to fight nobody. That's why he signed with Al. Let's keep it 100. We gone.